So for me, being a newcomer, I've been here just over three years, uh, originally from the UK. So I have a real outsider's view. Um, and was very attracted to Cambridge, safe for my family, etc. However, for family entertainment, it really lacks. We will go to Niagara, we will go to Toronto, we will go everywhere else, but stay at home and spend our money. And I think that's a real shame um, because it's not like we don't have the space for some sort of, I don't know, splash works or something for young families. Yeah. Um, that's the main thing for my family. I think everything else is okay, and we're still learning as well. What part of town do you live in? Downtown Galt. Downtown. Yeah. Like this, is, this is ground yeah, zero. Not to, yeah, like five minutes from here. So wow. yeah, and and we love it. We do love it, and it's got lots of historic. It reminds me a lot of England as well. I think that's part of the reason why we chose it. It's very very quaint, um, and and bespoke in many many respects, but entertainment for the family is definitely a big thing there's only so many restaurants you can do um, only so many times you can walk along the river um, we are a very outgoing lively family we, we work hard and we like to play hard and I just find that we have to go out of our city to find that need some more uh, family oriented infrastructure definitely. in order to make quality of life definitely what you want it to be. yeah and I think as well it would also be a hub for tourists because if we're going elsewhere I would imagine tourists would come here. For example, Ribfest, we had the first one yeah. in Cambridge, and just chit chatting with a, um, another family. And I said, Oh, where are you from? Are you local? And she said, No. She said, My husband and I promised each other that we'll go to the next Ribfest that's within an hour's drive, and they're from Mississauga. So the Ribfest drew, drew them to our community. Very interesting. I'd like to see something else that draws young families to our community as well. Tell me about downtown Galt. You uh, obviously chose it for a number of reasons, but do you see places where things could pop up that would um, be exciting for your family? Do you see Do you see where things could go? Do you have um, days when you design that in your mind? Yes. For example, I think it was two years ago now, the apartment building along the river where the Ainsley and Water yeah. split. Yeah. When that was coming up, I was very excited. I wasn't sure exactly what it was when they started the whole project. Um, but I thought that's amazing. So it will bring, it will just revitalize, bring more. And I'm assuming it was for like young professionals and so on. It's condo lifestyle. So that was also exciting, knowing that there are potentially more young families like mine to come to the area, to grow the area. And you know, so I'd love to see more down by the river. And I'd like to see the river a little bit more, a little bit cleaned up. It would be nice if they cleaned it up a little bit as well I to come, make it more attractive. I, I was born in uh, St. Mary's and, and the first part of my life was in Stratford, Ontario. I don't know mm, if you've ever I visited. Do. Yes, I have. Um, we lived three blocks from the Avon River and the Avon River is uh, is very important to yes. the lifestyle, not only of the visiting community mm -hmm. because it's obviously a tourist hub, but yeah. um, it is uh, also very important to the local families. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a beautiful river, well maintained, yeah. at a very high level. Yeah. So we have great potential to do that as well.